Hi, I'm Ebony, and today we are exploring Buncy. Buncy is a creation and presentation tool that makes it super easy for you and your students to create presentations, interactive stories, and make engaging lessons. Okay, so let's get started with Buncy. So we're going to go ahead and tap and open the Buncy app. I have already logged into my Buncee account, but when you first open the app, you'll be prompted to sign up for an account and you can easily do that with your school Google account. So it's super easy to sign up and get started. So we're going to go ahead and begin our creating our presentation here within Buncee and we're going to start by tapping this plus sign in the bottom right corner. And it immediately drops us onto our very first slide. So you'll see we have two options here and we're going to go ahead and get started with adding a background. So when I tap on add in the background, you'll see that we have several options for ways to import things into the background. You have Buncee itself, which have, they have an extensive list of backgrounds to choose from, and we're going to check those out in a second. You can choose different color backgrounds if you want to go that route. You can also import images and do web searches right inside the app, which is great for student workflow. And you can also import images from your camera roll. But I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Bunt C options because I love how they have categorized it. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to choose an education template. And when you choose your template, tap, tap on it and choose insert in the top right corner and it will drop it right onto your slide. If I want to continue adding content to my slide, I'm going to add an item. So I'm going to tap add an item. And you will see all of the different types of content and media that you can add to your presentation. Now within this, you have stickers and messages and animations. Those three are also have options that are built in with, within the app that give you content to choose from that is organized into categories just like backgrounds. And one thing that's good about that is that it, those options also go along with the background option so they match and it makes it very visually appealing when you're creating a presentation the other ones you can add text you can draw you can also import photos from your camera roll do web searches again inside of this and of course add YouTube videos as you can see here so I'm going to go ahead and quickly add an animation so I'm going to choose an animal tap insert and you'll see it drops it right onto my slide so I'm just going to drag him into my fishbowl and you can drag and position in any way you like. Then if I want to continue to add content to my slide, that's when we look, bring our attention to this right side, this little right bar here. And that plus sign, when I tap on that plus sign, it brings me back to my menu. So now I want to go and add a sticker and I'm going to choose me a little Buncey man, tap on him, insert him into my slide. Move them around and adjust to your liking. And then I want to add one more thing. So I'm going to hit my plus sign once again. Tap text. And then I'm going to enter my text. Now, you want to edit items on your slide. That's when that right bar comes in really handy. You have two ways. You can either double tap on an item and you'll get a little pop-up window or you can tap on it on the side of the menu item and it'll give you the same pop-up menu on that bar as well. So I'm going to edit my text and then I edit my text and then of course move it where I want it on the slide. And as you can see if I go back to my other item here when you tap on it and get the menu you'll see other ways that you can add more content or even more options to your slide deck. So you can hyperlink, you can add audio, you can even duplicate images and animations that you have on your slide. So super fun way to add an extra element to your presentation. All right, now that I have added my content and I feel pretty good about it. If I want to continue to add more slides to my presentation on the left hand side, you'll see that plus sign there. And if I tap on that, you that's how you add more and more slides and you go through the same process again of choosing your backgrounds and adding items and going through all the wonderful options that you have within Buncee. So I want to preview my presentation. That is when I'm going to tap done in the top left corner. 
and open my presentation in preview mode. And what you'll see here is it gives me my thumbnails down on the very bottom. So if I want to go between slides to make any edits, you can do so really quickly from here. And also go back and tap on the pen in the top right corner and that will take you back into editing mode. But we're done. So also in the bottom right corner, you'll see the words autoplay here. And if I tap on autoplay, that will bring up my menu for my slide timer options. And if I wanna enable loop, I can also do that here too. But once I've got all my timer options the way I want them for each slide and I feel pretty good about my presentation and I'm ready to share it with the world, I'm gonna tap my right, up in my right corner, that square with the arrow coming out, I'm gonna tap on it, on my little share button here. And then you'll see all the options you have for sharing your presentation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.